Greetings, Abletonians. What's up, cave dwellers? What's up, my knob gobblers? Knob goblins? <laughs> Welcome to episode four of trying to beat Ableton. Today, I'm gonna show you guys this little bad boy. Watch this, watch this. Here we go, here we go. And boom. Colors, colors. Boom. As always, make sure to absolutely smack that little sub button. And for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Morgan, and this is Cracked Records. And this is Cracked Records. All right, this one's gonna be a quick one, but holy shit, is this gonna save us hours every single week. So I think the default method for naming tracks is just absolutely ridiculous. So I just try to think of a way to just bypass all that and just give us the most useful name. So what I did was I made us the set styler, baby. So this device just scrubs through every single track name and just grabs only the relevant words and then puts them in the front so you know what the fuck you're looking at. <laughs> and then labels the back end so you know which number it is. So over here, if we go to the naming format, if we just do all caps, so it just takes the type of instrument, puts it first, and then just a little descriptive term in the suffix, and then it puts the label after it. That way you don't have to sit there and fucking do it by hand. And then there's, so there's three different naming formats. So there's all caps, then there's prefix caps. So that's just gonna capitalize the first name. And then the last one is title case. So that's just gonna capitalize the first letter. It's just easy mode. Then below that, we have the rename toggle. So if you add more tracks, you could just hit this and it'll do the rest of them. And then there's also an auto sync mode. So every 10 minutes, if you turn this on, it'll just scan through the entire project and just rename everything. Then for the group colors, I try to just group everything as logically as I could. So kick, clap, snare is gonna be under drums. And then you could just drag this and it's gonna change all the clip colors and all the track colors at once. And then for symbols, it's gonna be hi-hats, rides, and all that sort of stuff. And then you could just drag the colors right there and it's just gonna auto update them. And then the rest of the categories try to just look for names that fall within the categories in a smart way, as smart as I could do it. But yeah, it's fucking, let's go, dude. So all you gotta do is just slap it on your master and pick the format of everything and all the colors and then just save it to either your template or project specific and then you're just locked and loaded, baby. All right, gang, that's gonna do it for this set styler walkthrough. If you wanna snag the device, links in the description. If you haven't subscribed, come on, baby. Come on, baby, let's do some. And if you have an idea for a device or a plugin, drop a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.